Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us here this evening for the wedding of the century. I am not exaggerating when I'm saying this will be bigger than Charles and Diane, more extravagant than Harry and Meghan, more hip than Beyonce and Jay-Z, more legendary than Elvis and Priscilla. Yes, this will be epic. While we're waiting for things to begin, let me introduce some of the people you will see in the ceremony this evening. Giving away the bride this evening will be Albert the Alabaster. He's a friend of Tina's father who isn't able to join us here tonight. Tina's father is doing 5 to 10 in upstate New York for petty larceny, public intoxication, disorderly conduct, indecent exposure. Well, you get the picture. He's not a nice guy. And uh, actually, neither is Albert the Alabaster. Don't let that name confuse you. He's also known as Alabaster Al, Big Al, Al the Enforcer. He hangs around the docks in Duluth, Minnesota. We're not quite sure how he got across the border. I think he, somebody put him in a toolbox and smuggled him across on an 18-wheeler. The ring bearer is Baby Al. Albert's nephew. Baby Al probably came across in the same toolbox. This is Tommy's best man, Jesus Luis Guzman. Tommy and Jesus grew up together on Roosevelt Island in New York. Our bridesmaids this evening are Sushmita and Sabrina coming to us all the way from Mumbai, India. Let me note one small change on your programs. The minister was supposed to be Fireball Fred's gnome, but the gnome is lost in the mail. Perhaps stuck at the border. Pretty sure got stuck at customs. They were doing a cavity search. I don't think the gnome objected, but his unicorn wasn't happy and kicked up a fuss. Standing in for Fireball Fred's gnome, we have Eric the Viking all the way from Norway. Ladies and gentlemen, I see some action in the tent now. Yes, yes, here comes. <sighs> Having a little trouble with uh, his entry. Alabaster Al. Coming up behind Al is Jesus. And here's little Al with the ring. Now we're just waiting for the bride. I think she's coming now, yes. Tina is wondering where everybody went. She has been busying herself at the buffet in the tent. Tina, come on, what's taking you? Everybody's waiting. Isn't she looking lovely? My goodness, look at that gown. Tommy is a gobsmack. He cannot believe the beauty of his bride. Tommy, you are one lucky turtle. Like the ceremony is about to begin, the minister is about to speak. Ladies and gentlemen, turtles of the world, we are gathered here today to join Tom and Tina in the union of America. This contract is not to be entered into lightly, but thoughtfully and seriously, and with a deep realization of its obligations and responsibilities. Do you, Tina? Take Tommy McTurlison to be your lawful wedded husband, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poor, in sickness and in health, to love and obey, till death do you part. Obey? Obey? What's this obey about? I'm not gonna obey him. Forget that. I'm not gonna agree to that. We'll skip the obey part and call that a yes. Do you, Tommy, take Tina to be your lawful wedded wife? To have and to hold from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poor, in sickness and in health, to love and obey, till death do you part. Well, if she's not going to obey, I'm not going to obey either. No obey for you either, and we'll call that a yes. If there is anyone present who has reason why this ceremony should not proceed, 
Speak now or forever. Hold your peace. If anybody says anything, you're a dead man. I'm looking at you, Jesus. By the power vested in me, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Tommy, you may now kiss your bride. Don't go away, folks. Up next is the reception, where we'll have the best man speech, presented, of course, by Jesus. And then we will have the cutting of the cake. Hola, everyone. I have known Tommy since we were little kids on Roosevelt Island. Tommy used to be chasing the pussy. Jesus, you stop that right now. Get off the stage. You're trying to ruin my wedding. What? He chased to the cat. I don't care. I want him off here. Tommy, get that man off the stage. And I don't ever want you associating with him again. Hey, Tommy, maybe it's not too late for you to get out of this. Jesus, I'm afraid I'm in love. I hope everybody enjoyed that ceremony, and now I'd like to make a toast to the bride and the groom, to Tina and Tommy. Are you guys going to save any cake for the guests or what? No, this is our cake. We're eating this cake. Yeah, this is our cake. Look, it, it says right on it, Tommy and Tina. It doesn't say Tommy and Tina and guests. If the guests want some damn cake, they should have brought their own. <laughs>